Hello, my name is Abdullah Zarug. I'm a pediatric surgeon at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And today we're going to be talking about adolescent uh, bariatric surgery. We've had a program for adolescent weight loss for quite some time. It's actually a mature program. The pediatric surgical uh, aspects of it, along with the uh, bariatric surgery, have been in place for over five years, but the weight loss program really goes back to when Dr. Seema Kumar started this uh, even before that. Children undergo different behavioral modification programs without, the, uh, without surgery, and that's their goal. The goal is to be able to lose weight without any intervention that is surgical or invasive. When the adolescent fails uh, behavioral modification, when it's medically indicated, then we can go on to talk about uh, bariatric interventions or surgical interventions that we perform. Really, we have a multidisciplinary uh, program here. We have pediatric dietitians, we have pediatric surgeons, we have bariatric surgeons. Uh, the individual who heads the program is Dr. Seema Kumar. She's a pediatric endocrinologist and she's been doing this for some time. This is actually her research focus and her clinical focus. And with her leading the program, what we've done is had a team of specialized pediatric providers and we perform the full or we provide the full gamut of pediatric services so that the child or the adolescent even if they need bariatric surgery or most of the time they actually need other interventions for uh, medical comorbidities we have the full gamut here at Mayo Clinic to provide those medical services. Specifically for bariatric surgery Really, the benefits are only for those, or at least the procedure is only for those that meet criteria. Well, what are the criteria? Well, they need to be above the 95th or 99th percentile for weight and age. What does that mean? Roughly speaking, their BMI needs to be over 40. We don't use the adult criteria of over 35. We really use over 40 with a medical comorbidity that is related to their obesity. So things like diabetes, or sleep apnea or liver cirrhosis. Oftentimes those uh, medical comorbidities can be life-threatening or they can have a, a quality of life effect on the adolescent and with the procedure we can help change that and it really is helping. It's not just the only thing that we're going to do. So what's the process? The process is that they meet with the pediatric endocrinologist, they meet with the dietitian, they meet with the multidisciplinary team including a behavioral uh, specialist. It could be a psychologist, it could be a psychiatrist, it could be both, dep depending on what the needs of the adolescent are. And they also meet with uh, myself in pediatric surgery and an adult bariatric surgeon. From the surgical aspect, we've decided that we're gonna see the patients, both the adult bariatric surgeon who performs these types of procedures every single day and a pediatric surgeon so that we can have an adolescent or a pediatric aspect to it. And so we see these patients in advance uh, in deciding whether they're going to be a fit or a good candidate for the procedure. We often see them at an interval time, perhaps at three months or four months, to make sure that things are going well. We check in with the pediatric endocrinologist, we check with the dietitian, we check in with the psychologist to make sure that the adolescent is still an appropriate candidate and that we're going to go ahead with the procedure in about three months. Most of the time, it takes about a six months process of behavioral modification and at least not weight gain, but hopefully weight loss, and making sure that they're medically fit for the procedure and that they'll still benefit. They do that most of the time. They can do that here at Mayo. Every now and then we have uh, people who don't live uh, within this vicinity, so they can get some of that elsewhere, but for the most part, we like to do that at Mayo, at Mayo because, again, the program is mature. It's over five years that we've been doing this.